All right, guys, so usually do a music video on Saturdays, but I wanted to do a video about this new guitar I got, why I got it, why I love it already, and thought this would be a good resource, too, for anyone who wants to buy this guitar or maybe another Les Paul. So this is a 2020 Les Paul traditional Pro-V, Trad Pro-V. So Les Paul makes really five main models, and then off of that branches some more models. So there's traditional like this one, standard, classic, custom and studio so what makes this a pro v mainly is these push pull pots which we'll get to in a minute but first i want to talk a little bit more about kind of the general specs of this so it's got a mahogany body maple top really nice rosewood uh, fretboard also this is what's called compound radius and so it's kind of flatter kind of radius for um, an electric guitar for me personally i love that it feels kind of speedy and fast and like i can slide and play a little bit easier um versus some of the strats and tellies that i played had like a real round kind of kind of radius neck and that felt like a little hard for me so love that um also has the lock and groove tuners has the nashville bridge um down here um the satin finish i think is beautiful um i don't know if you will be able to pick it up on here i want to do some close-ups um in a little bit after this but you can see the wood grain um even with the satin finish it's really pretty and the satin finish on the back makes it really nice um it slides easy some of the gloss i think tends to be sticky and it's really pretty but then your hand gets a little sticky on the back so love the satin finish it is weight relieved um so not as heavy as you would think um and then the pickups so they have it has trad booker pickups double coil pickups so i really wanted this guitar because i wanted something that had double coil pickups instead of single coil so a little bit more about why why i got this so i got this from the guitar center in lawrenceville georgia down close to atlanta um thank you dave um he was he was really nice he helped us out so I played some Stratocasters, Telecasters, um, played a PRS, and they were all really nice, but the Stratocasters and Telecasters, Fender guitars, only have single coil pickups, right? So there's only one coil, and you get more of a brighter, chimier sound. And don't get me wrong, that's beautiful, I like it, but for me, I really wanted a, like a fat, rich, kind of sustain, which the Les Pauls are known for, type sound. So ended up going with this one, um, been super pleased. But I will say, you really don't know until you, it's good to do research and think about it and, and, and definitely figure out the hardware and what's important to you, but you really don't know until you go and play them. Because I really didn't know much about PRS, and when I did play the PRS that I played, I was pretty presently surprised. It, it had, a, had a beautiful tone. Ended up going with this one. But anyways, always good to play them. So... The main reason I got this guitar is the push-pull pots. That's what makes this a traditional Pro-V. So with these push-pull pots, and again, I'll do some close-ups, um, but they push and pull instead of just turn. And so you have the capability via the dip switch in the control cavity to either set this to split or tap. So I've got it set to split, which means I can play with single coils. So it's almost like having two guitars in one. So by pushing and pulling this, it's wired to these and then I can play with one coil. So almost like two guitars in one, like I said. So you can also have it set to tap, which means that'll just take the signal from somewhere within the coil instead of at the end of it and it gives you a different sound. So this guitar is super versatile. Um, so I kind of couldn't turn it down. Um, plus I think it's beautiful and, and it's pretty sweet. So we're going to do some close-ups of this. I want to show you guys the case. I've got an amp set in here next to me. I want to show you guys that, play it a little bit. Um, but this is her pretty sweet. Definitely. All right, guys, want to show you an up close of the case. It come with this case. It's really nice. Um, there's actually a lot of room right here for the headstock which is pretty nice lots of room in this it come with this um pretty nice strap here's the picture though this was so cool it come with this picture um inside the case showing i may have it upside down when it was made that was really neat um you can see the specs about it who signed off on it um that kind of folds out but the case is really pretty nice um holds it nice and tight you know making sure it's not going to move around or anything like that so while we're at it we'll get some close-ups of the guitar here these are the really nice 
push-pull pots. We've got the Nashville Bridge. Um, these beautiful tri-buckler pickups. Also, this three-way switch is really nice. Nice, really pretty uh, rosewood fretboard. Um, and then we've got, of course, the truss rod cover. It's a little upside down, backwards, but Trad Pro V. Got the beautiful inlay um, that Gibson does. And got the Les Paul and Cigna, so... All right, guys, so this is a Fender Mustang GTX 100 watt amp. It's got a 12 inch speaker. It's got 200 presets. You can make your own presets and save them. It's got this really nice digital display here. It's also got Wi Fi, um, so you can get updates. It's also got Bluetooth. There's an app that you can um, use to work it, work it from your phone, which is pretty neat. And then it also comes with this awesome seven foot uh, switch pedal which has the looper, which is pretty neat. You can do 60 seconds of loops, so that way you could lay down some rhythm, play some melody after that, which is pretty awesome. Pretty pleased with this amp. I mean, it's super nice. You can see, I won't make you guys look at all of them, but it has two, 200, and those are actually, say, empty, which is pretty cool. I just realized that. That's probably where you can save your own, but it really has a lot, and it also has... Of course, your gain, volume, treble, middle, bass, reverb, master, which is master volume. And then you can see where to save it. And then it also has, if you hold this, you can see it says um, hold for tuner. So you can also tune um, here on the back. It also has like um, input and output for mics. So really, it's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So now we're going to play it a little bit. So I've got it through my Fender Mustang amp here. And we're going to do, I want to show you guys what it sounds like to do the coil split where you can just have the single coil or the double coil. Just got it on a clean channel so you'll be able to hear well. So, all right. Um, a little bit loud. I hope it's not loud for you, but it sounds so sweet. So this is just with the, um, so these two control the neck, the bottom two control the neck. And then these two control the bridge. Um, as well as the bottom treble controls the neck, middle is both, top is bridge. So we're going to have it on treble and we're going to have, um, I'm going to do the neck pickups first where you can see what it sounds like having them as a regular double coil and then single coil and then we'll do the bridge. So just got some regular chords here. Alright, so that is the double coil. This is the single coil. I'll do it as I strum so you'll be able to hear better. See how it kind of takes it away and it's not so heavy and this is a little lighter. Now we'll put it back on double coil. So you can hear a big difference there between the, the um, double and the single. So now we'll go to the bridge. So this is a um, double chord. Now single chords. And you can see it just kind of takes away. For me, I like the double chord sound better, but it has that lighter sound. So, pretty cool. Um, sounds pretty sweet. So it's got the classic rock, of course. I mean, it's got 200 presets, like I said, but so um, sounds really great. So love this guitar, super happy with this purchase. You know, if you're debating on double coil, single coil, this may be the guitar for you because you kind of get both. So drop a comment below, questions, anything. If you're debating on it, just not sure, I would love to help you out any way I could with questions, anything like that. Um, and also, honestly, you can't really go wrong with Les Paul, whether you got this one or a different one. Um, I think you'd be good to go. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and look out for a video with this baby coming soon. Also, guys, by no means am I giving up my traditional type Appalachian style folk bluegrass country kind of music. I just want to add this to it. Um, hope it makes a good addition and see you at the next video.